I presume that what this question is referring to is confession and the fact that we can go to confession easily, confess our sins, receive absolution, and be done with it. That's it. And yes, certainly those outside the church who don't understand the church uh, often mock Christianity for exactly this. They say, oh, Christians, as long as you say you're sorry, anything's okay. Well, this is to not understand what forgiveness really means and what our relationship with our sin is. If I commit a sin, in some sense it will stay with me forever, whether I'm forgiven or not. When I commit a sin, I will always have to live with the fact that I committed that sin whether it's a little one or a big one. I'll always have in my memory that I did this, that I chose to do it, and what the consequences of it were. If it hurt someone, if it hurt me, if it changed my understanding of the world. These don't go away just because we go to confession. One of the things that people sometimes struggle with, in fact, in the spiritual life is the expectation that they'll go to confession with some big sin that's been burning away in their heart and they confess it to the priest and they hear the priest say, you are forgiven of this, but then they go home and they find that it hasn't magically erased the pain from their lives. And they have this expectation that it will. But the consequences of our sins stay with us. That's not what forgiveness is about. It's not to say, oh, it never happened, just carry on as if uh, you're not a sinner at all. The forgiveness that God offers is His granting a freedom from the permanent enslavement to what we've done. People, when they start to reach a level of maturity where they really understand their sinfulness, that their behaviors, their choices really affect others. Children don't understand this. They just know if I do a bad thing, mama gets angry or papa gets angry. But we, when we're little, we don't yet have an understanding of the effect that it has on the others' hearts, that it can really wound someone, the things that I say to them or do to them. And even with adults, of course, not everyone is mature enough to understand this. Many people sin all the time without thinking about it at all. But when we start to actually take seriously our sinfulness and recognize that the things we do or don't do, the things that we say or don't say, deeply hurt other people, as well as myself, and that once I've done it, I can do many things to try and repair those relationships, but that actually I can't. You know, once you've stabbed someone with a physical knife, you can't take it back. Right? You can try to patch up the wound, you can try to give antibiotics so there's no infection, but you can't unstab someone with a knife, you can't unshoot someone with a gun. But similarly with our words, you can't unsay things, you can't undo things. And we realize that when we really understand how our sins hurt other people, ourselves, God, that there's, we're trapped, there's no way out. And that's what God is giving us freedom from. God is saying, I love you, I understand you have done wrong, but I don't want you to be trapped forever. He's not saying, go away and pretend it never happened. If you look in the gospel, when people come and he encounters their sins, Christ never says, go and start over as if this never happened in your life. He says, go and sin no more. Go and have faith. Go and live differently. We'll always remember our sins. We'll always be shaped by them. God is not erasing them. But God is saying, just because you made a grave error doesn't mean you have to be trapped forever. I'm giving you the freedom to now go and live a different life. You still have to do it. You still have to make amends for the wrongs that you have done to the best that you can. But you don't have to be permanently enslaved by the wrong things that you have done. And I will give you the grace and the help, God says, to overcome the weakness in yourself. So when you understand what's really happening in confession, it's not at all this idea that, oh, I've sinned, I say I'm sorry, and it's all fine now. Rather, I sin, I become aware of it, I confess it to God, and God says, now may that be a starting point for a different kind of life. You may still have to pay for the things you've done, 
The relationships may still be broken with people that you've wronged. You must work to repair them. Freedom comes, or repentance comes at a cost. Forgiveness comes at a cost. Go and live differently. Every time we're forgiven in confession, we are charged to then use that forgiveness as a grounding for a different and a better 